the four stages of spiritual awakening. So if you think you're going through a spiritual awakening, there are four general stages that you're going to go through. And I'm gonna share what they are with you right now. And I'll share with you my own personal story. Okay. So the first stage that you're gonna go through is you're gonna start questioning the matrix. You're gonna start questioning reality. You're gonna start questioning things that you never questioned before. You're gonna question authority. You're gonna question the news. You're gonna question the government. You're gonna question what is really going on here because you're gonna have a stirring inside of you that something is not right. Something is not right and what you are being told does not make sense to you and you're gonna like slowly it'll be like an unconscious realization that's what happened with me i did everything i was supposed to do i got good grades in elementary school i was an a student all the way till i graduated with honors i was you know listen to authority never question my teachers never question my parents and i just did what i was told i was very obedient <laughs> And I went and got a really high paying job because that is what I thought I was supposed to do in life. You're told that you're supposed to get a job that pays a really high salary with a good pension and good hours, right? That's, in general, that's what you're told. So that is exactly what I did. I went and got a six figure job um, when I was 20 years old, okay? And I had this job and I thought, okay, I'm doing what I'm doing. You know, I made it this is what my life is going to be till I retire. And then something just didn't feel right. And I started to question the whole narrative of our society of your whole point of life is to go get a high paying job, have a family and just only focus on like success and money and your pension. And I started just realizing that if I lived this way for the next three decades, I would be miserable. And it was a very disturbing realization that I had to come to terms with. And that was the beginning of my spiritual awakening because I started questioning what society was telling me a meaningful life was. And I eventually came to the realization that society did not know what would make me happy and that the only way I could figure that out was going on my own journey and listening to myself okay so that was the first stage is questioning feeling something isn't right and just realizing that uh <laughs> the truth is not so black and white right the next stage you're going to go through is seeking out alternative information. This is when you're in the learning phase. And so you're gonna be, you know, researching on YouTube, reading different books. You're gonna come across different information, sources of information, alternative information. And some of it will resonate with you and some of it won't, but you're gonna be sifting through all of this to figure out what your truth is for your life, okay? And this was several years of this, learning, taking in different perspectives of life, figuring out what my truth was for my life. And so during my sort of awakening, after I first of all questioned all of society and the way society even worked, I started reading books and I started kind of going down different paths. I went into psychology, I went into um, a lot of spirituality, a lot of occult knowledge. Um, I started listening to a lot of different types of YouTubers with a lot of different opinions and, and just ways of seeing life and reality, right? Everybody's living their own consciousness and their own reality. I figured out who I resonated with. And during this stage, I was trying to figure out my own path and experimenting and trying things and trying to figure out what my idea of a successful life was. So I got really into self-improvement, into um, sort of hustle culture and all of that because at the time that is what I was resonating with. Then I stumbled upon a book called New Earth and the Three Waves of Volunteers. It was by a hypnotist named Dolores Cannon. And this was back in 2014, I think. 2014 or 15 is when I found this book. And basically Dolores Cannon is a spiritual, well, she's deceased now, but she was a past life 
hypno hypnotherapist, a very famous past life hypnotherapist. And she hypnotized thousands of people and she would record their sessions and she took all of their recordings and translated them into books and actually noticed that there were patterns with what she was drawing from people's subconscious minds and that they were all sort of saying the same messages and the same things and she noticed that a lot of souls like she would be talking directly to their soul when she was talking to their subconscious mind. They were here for the great awakening or the great shift that was going to occur here on earth. Okay, so she predicted what was ha what's happening now. It wasn't her. It was what she was discovering from people's souls and the information that they were telling her. And I believed it. And it actually really opened up my mind to the fact that we reincarnate. We are powerful souls. We're, we're not just in this one life. We are so much more than this reality that we're in. And this reality is actually a hologram. So I kind of really got into that rabbit hole because how could you fake that? You know, there were thousands and thousands of recorded hypnotizing sessions, okay, where people were not conscious, all telling her the same thing from completely different countries. They don't know each other, you know, like there's just no way. And then I started kind of researching like um, near-death experiences and what they went. And it was very similar sort of narrative and experience um, that we're contracted here. We choose to come here. We have lots of lives, you know, it's all the same thing. And that's personally what I resonated with. And so I, became aware of that very, very powerful spiritual truth for me in the year 2014, I think it was. And it took a long time for me to really fully accept it. And at the same time, I was still living my normal life, you know, trying to just pay my bills and raise my kids and just sort of live the life that I chose to live here. But I always knew in the back of my mind that, <laughs> But this is all like a game <laughs> and we chose to play this game, right? And then I kind of like slid into the third stage and the third stage is where you like totally integrate it into your belief system and you start actually applying this knowledge into your day-to-day -day life and you start to choose what you're what you really resonate with and you really have a good idea of what your truth is for your life and you have a good idea of what it is you came here to do so like a lot of your questions you sort of discover the answers to and this again could take years to figure out so i figured out what my mission and calling here was on earth and it felt really good and I started to take action on that, inspired action. Okay, so that's the third stage, is you've kind of integrated all this knowledge and you're starting to take action now in your day-to-day -day life based on this new knowledge um, and you're you're sort of awake now, right? And you're, you're, you know that you came here to do certain things from a very higher perspective, not just what your ego wants, and you are trying to align with that in your everyday, day-to-day -day life here. And the last stage is sort of the acceptance stage where you are grounded in your energy. Because a lot of people going through a spiritual awakening, their energy is very ungrounded. They're still kind of in the ethereal realms, in the mental realms, so they can't really relate to normal people, you know, asleep people. They can't connect with them anymore because they're just so up there in the clouds learning and just in a completely different like <laughs> dimension than most most people walking here on earth they are not open to that information at all so when you're in the fourth stage you're aware of all of this you kind of gone through that ungrounded phase and now you're back to grounded energy you're practical you still understand that you are living a 3d human life and that you still need to tend to your 3D responsibilities. Okay, so if you have kids, you have to raise them, you still have to make money, you still have to pay bills, like you understand all of that. You're bridging the two sort of realms together so that you can live the most fulfilling life that you can, right? And you're ready to share this information in a very practical way, 
You're not trying to force this information on anybody. You've accepted that you know this information, but you're not out there trying to preach to people. You are just ready to share it with anybody who is ready for the information and ready to listen. And that's sort of the last stage. So you'll feel very grounded. You'll feel a lot calmer. You won't be as uncertain. You will be very connected to your intuition and your guides. You'll have a very strong communication with them. You'll know when your intuition is speaking to you and when your ego is speaking to you. You've done a lot of shadow work. You've shed a lot of your old karma. And you also know that you are a lifelong learner and student and that this is an ongoing process. Like just because you're in stage four doesn't mean it's over and you never have to learn anything again and that's it for you, no. You know that for the rest of your life, your perspectives may change. You may come upon new information when you're supposed to come upon it. And you are meant to be a lifelong learner, okay? And you're still, you're still on your own personal spiritual growth journey. And you're always growing, sort of always in that growth mindset. So those are the four stages that you will probably find yourself in. You're going to go through a lot of doubt, a lot of fear, a lot of questioning. You might even think you're crazy sometimes you might have way more clairvoyant psychic abilities than i ever did and think you know you might hear voices or you might like have crazy visions and so you might think you're crazy but no try to stay grounded in your energy and try to figure out what the source of that voice or that vision is try to get the fear out of the equation get the remove the fear Learn how to cope and deal with fear. Start researching how to identify fear, how to come from a place of love, how to keep your vibration high, how to pro properly process negative emotions. All of these are really important. You need to become a master at navigating human emotions. If you guys have any questions, just leave comments below and I would love to answer them. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.